So customer service, the post-order communication is also different. Um, so traditionally at Ticket Network, the TND model is the broker handles all the post-order communication unless if the customer initiates contact with us and then we get involved. So we started out doing that and we had a lot of rejected orders. Anyone know why? Right, exactly. They didn't speak Spanish. So the customer is speaking with the broker. Donde esta mis boletos? And the broker says, I don't know what to do. Reject fraudulent order. <laughs> so what we did was we solved the problem. It was pretty easy. We have one person who acts as a liaison between the Spanish-speaking customer and the English-speaking broker. So how many people have been in touch with David Mardalis? Right. <laughs> good, good. And how many people have emailed brokers at superbuleteria.com before? Well, you at the top of your broker receipt, you'll see a, a message that says, this order was placed on the Spanish language website, superbuleteria.com. If you need help with this order, please email us. Please email us. Please don't <laughs> email the customers in English because they won't understand. So we have that program set up to help you guys get the orders to go through. And you want to contact us because the average order size is 50% higher on our site compared to the Ticket Network Exchange. Um, and then we get involved with Getting involved with the post-order experience, as I said before, has decreased our rejection rate significantly. We were at about 8% rejection rate, and we're down to about 4 It's still not good, but it's really decreased it. We have a lot of credit card declines, which we're trying to work out now.